Hi guys, it's Nazli here. Welcome to my studio. In this video, we are going to talk about how to make greeting cards at home for a small business. Or I actually should say how I make my greeting cards for my small business at home. I wanted to make this video because when I wanted to start making greeting cards as a small business, uh, I really couldn't find a good video that can explain everything from beginning to end process. Um, most of them were basically like art and craft, um, more like do-it-yourself project style things. And you really can give it to your friends and families, but actually it is not going to work for a business, small, small, extra small business. So I wanted to really show you how I make my greeting cards from beginning to end. And there are some questions I kind of wanted to tell you. What paper I use and why and how much, the reasons and the prices, and like paper cutters, paper trimmers, scoring boards, envelopes, folly bags, and packaging, stickers, the like a personal touches and everything I'm going to tell you in this video. First of all, I want to say I'm making this video for the people who actually want to start their greeting card business at home. This is not a big business thing because everything you'll see in this video is really, really for a small business. And the way that I do it at home, um, everything is by hand. Um, you'll see how extra small this business is. And I can understand the, the people out there who is like me and I hope you will understand too because if you watch me for a while you'll see every video that I make this style you'll see that I'm complaining about the printing houses or on online printing like minimum quantity numbers because even 50 can be a lot sometimes you cannot order 50 for your each um uh, for your each design. So that's why I am going to tell you how I am making my greeting cards. I'm not going to talk about the printers or the details so much because I have actually individual videos for printer, for papers. You can always go and check it out. I will leave the link of those videos in the description box as well. Okay, before it is getting late, why don't we just jump into the questions, guys? As I say, I have some questions, like a titles. I'm going to explain with reasons to you right now. <laughs> so the first question I did is why, what kind of printer I use? So I, I want to make this clear because I have a better printer than a just making a greeting card printer. So the printer I use is Canon Pixma Pro 200. Um, it is a very, very good home style, professional um, printer i was about to say computer <laughs> it's a printer and um, the purchase of that is gonna be like here i don't really remember the exact number but i'm gonna put it on the screen so i'm quite happy with that i already talked about the printer so i'm not gonna talk about it again but i want to say i don't just make greeting cards so this is not a small size printer it's not just for greeting cards because i'm not just doing greeting cards i also make my art prints as well so i can actually print up to 13 by 19 inches on this printer that's very good size for me to sell and i do art fairs and like vendors markets every weekend in summertime sometimes more than one time in the weekend um and i should say that 13 by 19 is the very is a very very good size for illustration for digital art printing that it has eight ink cartridges eight thick eight different colors and the inks are going long time it depends how colorful you are working as well but i work colorful enough but i also have enough white background as well i don't really focus on the backgrounds i usually focus on the illustration i think in ink i should not say it's like a super budget friendly but i cannot say it's expensive as well i will thing that's average like for a printer and the time it takes for a ink card to just to finish as as i said i cannot tell you but canon has a website it shows you how much ink goes for a um, size to size it says like 20 cent to one dollar two dollars it depends the size and the colorful but it's i think they kind of arrange the price like a photo paper like a full of color which is even better for you to get an idea it's not the cheap you know it's not a cheap printer but i should say that 
money definitely works extremely, extremely, extremely good. So I'm so happy that I spent that money on this printer. Let's get back to questions. And my second question is, what paper I use mostly for greeting cards. I use two kinds of paper. One is koala, called koala paper. I will put the photo of them on the screen so you can see. And I use staples. Uh, I have two different ones. I order both of them sometimes from um, Amazon or I go to Staples sometimes. If I'm like going or passing by Staples, I definitely stop by and buy, buy some packages. Colors and the details, the paper, the quality and prices. I'm not going to talk about those, but I use this one and Koala already opened on. The package is basically in the trash right now. It's not gonna work for me to show it to you on the screen, but I'll put a photo of that. So there are two papers works very well, work very well for me. Koala is 61 um, a pound and Staples is 61 pound. Um, if you are gonna fold it, I would recommend you to not go up to uh, more than 66 pounds. I should think, I think 60s is good for me, for me. <laughs> I don't wanna take any responsibility. So I am going to the third question. It says, what products I use for my greeting cards? Yeah, so this is the question that I am going to tell you what envelopes and what uh, plastic clear bag I use. So why don't I show you right now? So let's start with envelopes. Okay, I use this brand. So this is quite, quite good envelope. It's, there's no envelope in it because I finished it. I ordered it, it's coming, but I should say, I think I've already finished like 10 packs of this so far since I found this one. And this is the best one on Amazon. You can really find the better quality, the good package. There's no damage. You never can find the damage on this box so far. Uh, so what I like about this, it's self-seal and it's cheaper, cheap enough to order and they come like 100 pack in in a good box so it doesn't get that much damage there's not really a greeting card right now in it because i put my extra greeting cards in it that um folded out of inventory i didn't add all my inventory so that's why i keep in this box it's already perfect size for a greeting card it's a good sturdy box so that's why i'm using these more like storage right now um but i should say this one was the best one that I used so far. Thick, it doesn't show inside. It's uh, self seal, which is so important for me. It's on 150 GSM, if I'm not wrong. It doesn't say on it. Uh, as I said, this is the paper I use. You can take a photo, you can um, search about it, or you can check the link that I will put down, uh, down, <laughs> uh, down below so you can uh, buy from the link as well this is the other envelope don't worry i will leave all the links down below so you can <laughs> there are 1000 envelopes in this box um i should say i loved it the quality is very good and it's quite cheap i paid like for 1048 dollars or so like this regular uh, but this is gummed as I said, I love using self-seal envelopes, but there is, I mean, you may not like it or you may not want that. That's extra cost. Just, I like doing this. I bought these while I was like in Hobby Lobby and I, this is like 50, 12 dollars. I love how soft they are. This is what I'm looking on Amazon, but um, for a two size, I really couldn't find a good soft color or they are so, so expensive or they are like individually colors, like only green 50, only blue 50, like there's no really a mix. I love, I use lavender. I love this yellow. I love this um, pinkish color. They all are so beautiful. Look at the screen. It's so beautiful. And these all are self-seal too. So what we are going to talk about it is clear bag. The clear bag, let me show you the package. So I think it's not nice for me to tell you that I use all of my Greek clean, you know, products probably from Amazon. 
I purchased them from Amazon because it arrives in two days, which is a big, big, big thing. So the clear bag comes like this. Uh, it has 200, 100, 100 bags. Yeah, 200. And when you open this, it's basically two packages like this. So 100 in this one. And when you open that, which I already have opened one left, I think two or three, no, four or five left. So this is the way it comes. So it's self-seal, clear, poly bag. Let's go to the second question. No, not even the fourth question. So... Oh, this is the time that we are going to talk about how I cut them, how I fold them, blah, blah. But the thing I should say is I print my greeting cards on 8 by 8.5 by 11. It doesn't matter. I always use 8.5 by 11 template. So I always prepare my greeting cards for a eight and a half by 11 inches um, paper. Uh, the template is that size. So that means I have to cut the uh, paper from the middle to make my greeting card and then I have to fold it. So for folding and cutting them, I use a paper cutter, which I purchased from Amazon. Let me just show you that. paper cutter here and it has the sizes on it and it has a big blade on here. The other thing I use uh, is a paper trimmer which is face cars. You basically open this one. It goes in. This is very handy because um, I think using that one is quite good. No complaining, but this is so easy if I'm watching and cutting and folding at the same time. It, you'll see mo in most of my videos I use this one because it's very, very convenient. Uh, so what you do is like opening here and it has blade on this. This is a blade. Ooh! So this is the blade. Let me do my YouTuber hand. So it's, as you can see, it's kind of like almost end for this blade. I mean, it's okay, very good, it works well, but you know, sliding that all the time to the left, to the right, makes it damage a little bit, but it works well. So you put the paper under this and you put fold it on and then you arrange your size. I generally put um, a little dot on a corner that I need to adjust it because I don't want to check the size all the time. So I just bring it to the little dot and then just cut it. So it's always perfect and right. So I use those and that trimmer has extra, you should purchase all the time. I always keep a box extra. Whenever I go, I buy more because I like sharp corners. No, uh, I don't want to have any damage. And I, like, this is good to have it because you need to change it. It doesn't like, blade is okay, but the plastic doesn't go like so long. So you, it's cheap enough, you should purchase it basically and the other thing is a scoring board i use egg tools i actually tried to use hubby lobby's brand but it's slightly wrong so that's why i have to adjust it always by hand it's cheap enough this is like 20 dollars i bought it i don't even use this one it's still taped on it i don't know can you really see this here there's a clear um, tape on it. So I use this one. You see the black that I put here too. I don't need to check it all the time. I just, you know, use these black dots that make everything easier. So I use this one. It called, calls, it's called <laughs> Egg Tools. Uh, sorry for my English. So I use that one. But the, the important thing, so these things come with plastic. That's the, like, that's just waste guys I, let me be honest with you i actually have so basically i have another one but look this is the plastic one i bought it. it's like i don't know how many dollars five six seven eight dollars <laughs> do you see the top part because of, it's plastic and it's kind of like start like damaging melting peeling 
many other things happening right now. Um, so you'll see, I was using it at the beginning, but, and then they got worse and I stopped using that. But this is a bone, bone folder. That's the best, best ever. Don't use any other thing. Just purchase this. So this is a bone. It's very good. It's very good. Very good. <laughs> I don't know what to say. So this doesn't even get damaged. Look at this. It's perfect. Um, and, and it's like even cheaper than the plastic. So this plastic one is special that this course is like $8 or so. This one is $5, $2 cheaper than the plastic one. And you need to buy all the time the plastic one, but this one is only one time. That's cheaper, $5 or so. So <laughs> anyway, the next question is how I pack my orders. So we we have paper designed and we print it, we cut it, we put the envelope in it, we put the greeting card into the folly bag and the greeting card is ready. Do I have any greeting card that I can actually? Ugh. So what I do, if I have more than one, I'm not gonna put a link for this obviously because I bet you can find it. I don't know what is really the material, material but I, I bought this one from Michael's it's like three dollars thing so you any kind of ribbon you want to use i just don't use the plastic i uh, textile i didn't use the textile ones i kind of make a little package of if it is uh, more than one i kind of make a little package where a little package with this ribbon so i have two different different mailers which is this is i purchased from amazon i'm assuming this is like <laughs> Six by eight. Yeah, six by, sorry, eight. Whoa! So this is what I ordered from Amazon. Let me show it to you. It's it's rigid. It's white paper, white cardboard. And you can put your package into, good for actually up to 10 mailers, uh, greeting cards, because I think I've, I should say for me, for my greeting cards, the limit was 10. And then you should kind of need to have a bigger mailer or have two mailers like uh, so I use I put the mailer into this and it has a self seal you, the white one when you close it people can open it from this corners uh, I, can, I hope you can see that so you, they can open the package easily but I ordered last week from no issue that that's i'm quite happy with that this is no issue it's a, all around the card that it's eco-friendly it's also self sealed it's quite good i'm pretty happy about this um so after i pack it i use custom stickers so my custom stickers are also no issue Ta -da! i am so so happy with these stickers i love these stickers So beautiful so so beautiful i love this um the good thing about them they are extremely responsible they are so i don't know it feels like what i feel like when i send them email i'm feeling that someone is waiting for to respond directly just like so quick i love no a lot and so these are the three inches stickers i kind of put on the mailer so it's big enough, it's not super small. I don't like super small, so I, I like my print to show itself. So what personal touch, I mean, like what I do really is, um, so I have like, a, this is, I bought from an Asian store. Um, I love raccoon. Actually, we have three raccoons lives in our garden uh, under our deck. Let me just show you the video of that. And we have like, they are coming down from the tree that's so cute and this was the only option and in the store that it's kind of like cute that i liked and this one has the it's a notepad it's like raccoon and uh, illustrations on it you'll see different types so i write my note on this and stick this one onto the package with a uh, washi tapes 
this is two of them i have actually five six seven i don't know so many because i i love wash tapes every time when i see one i'm buying one i write the note and i kind of like tape it with the washi tape onto package and put it into mailer and then put my custom sticker on it and the address and it's ready to go and i kind of use the do not bend stickers as well or fragile stickers um so this is all i use for, for my packaging i think nothing left that i didn't tell you so and also i will put a reels here that i recently shared and it kind of shows everything how i package um so i enjoy watching that Also, I want to say that I'm going to share my own template with you, with your version, so you can uh, customize it for your brand for horizontal and vertical versions of this eight, eight and a half by 11 templates. It's going to be in the description box. It's going to be a very really cheap price in the in there. I couldn't really just decide it, but I think I will put like extremely cheap price for you guys so you can buy it. You can just purchase them. And other than that, this is all I really want to share. I think this is all I know already so far. If you have any question, if you think, guys, I missed something, I forgot to say something, or you want to more, you want to know more details, please leave your comments. As I said, I try to answer or respond all the comments that I received so far. I really enjoy when you guys are asking me anything and want to know. I am more than happy to share everything that I use and everything I know and everything I really can help you. Um, so let me know, guys know what do you think for this video in the description box as well. In the description box? In the comments. <laughs> in the comments <laughs> oh my gosh i'm tired don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet because i share every thursday try to share every thursday i couldn't make it this weekend probably if i share this video on thursday i have to be proud of myself because today is wednesday morning and i have to do a lot of things already but if i can edit it and share it on thursday i'll be happy about that but if i cannot this is probably Friday or Saturday you are watching this video not late in the still week week but not on the exact date um so looking forward to see you in the next video if you are having any question or if you want me to make any video about any questions or any idea just leave your comments in the description why do I say description box in the comments so I would love to have uh, videos around your comments and I would love to be more helpful to you guys this is all i can share for today and hope to see you in the next week's video bye bye